So as you all know, Soul Calibur 2 is going HD, and we thought this would be a great time to do a review of the original Soul Calibur 2. And so we're going to mix it up a little bit and take some screens from the GameCube. We're going to take some screens from the Xbox. And I wish we had the PlayStation 2 version, but I can't stand Heihachi. Yeah! I have no weapons, but I fight because I have Heihachi hair. Rah! <sighs> anyway, how's Soul Calibur 2 going to stack up? Take a look. Now, originally, if you had whichever version you had, determine who your bonus character was. And we had Heihachi from Tekken on the PlayStation 2. We had Link from Legend of Zelda on the GameCube. And my personal favorite was Spawn on the Xbox. And Spawn was really useful. I mean, he could nail in a lot of combos and stuff like that, really juggle it up. And he felt most natural in his fighting style. Great. Most of the screens we're going to be showing you are from the Xbox. And that's because. The Xbox streamed at 720, guys. This was an original Xbox game that took full advantage of the 720 resolution. Great! And it looks better, and you could, you could even tell that in an old TV, that the Xbox will look better. So, how's this play? Well, vertical slash, horizontal slash, kick, and guard. That's your four buttons. You mash them together in some way, and you basically crank out moves. I like that it's got more of a motion system because all of the all of the moves when chained together feels like there's a flow to it. And if you keep that flow going, you can just rake someone through the coals and never get touched. I mean, it really is that kind of system. The downside to it, though, is is that yes, you can get raked across the coals and never have a chance to touch your opponent, which gets frustrating in matches. Depends on the caliber of who you're playing against. No pun intended. So, is this the right game for you? And if you enjoy a game that has... Well, Soul Calibur has a deep story, but they don't really dole it out as well in this one as they did in like Soul Calibur 3. Uh, or Soul Calibur 4, actually, did a better job, too. Um, they do do Weapon Master mode, which I like. It offers a lot of challenges and allows you to unlock everything under the sun, including the bonus characters and whatnot. Sweet. Awesome. So, give... It's a give and take, but the arcade mode is where I spent most of my time, and Soul Calibur, especially when playing against friends, is always a fun time. And it's an easy system to learn. Anyone as low, you could just pick the controller up and have a chance at winning just by button mashing. And as you get more and more proficient, you get to the point where you know what to do in given situations. And so it's a game where even experts get taken out by noobs. I mean, it really is a fairly level playing field. It's pretty much as anyone's game. Loving that about Soul Calibur, and Soul Calibur 2 just brings more of that, and it's really good. Morally speaking, what do you have to deal with? And Soul Calibur has this issue where you have the Demon Sword, the Soul Edge, and the God Sword, or the Good Sword, the Angelic Sword, the Soul Calibur. And if you have issues with Angel, Demon, stuff like that, he uh, Heaven, Hell, whatever we want to call it, you may not want your kids playing it. You also have characters like Lizard Man and stuff who are anthropomorphic beings. Uh, you may not want your kids playing it. Characters like Cervantes who harness demon powers. You may not want your kids playing it. And of course, it's the usual martial arts combat, stuff like that. So if you have issues with this, you may not want your kids playing it. And of course, there's always Ivy. Everyone pays attention to Ivy. Why? Because she dresses like a hooker. Something that you might not want your kids seeing. If you have issues with any of that, that would exclude Soul Calibur of being one from your library. Soul Calibur 2, rather. But hey, if you like this review, check us out. We're themoralguymirror.com. Please subscribe to the links below. Please like, please share, all the usual stuff. But on our website, themoralgamer.com, we've got more reviews, outtakes, commentaries. Uh, we've even got playthroughs. Check us out, themoralgamer.com. Links below.